I lived my life in the Garden of Eden, long after the serpent left, and after Eve came to beg for forgiveness on behalf of her man, but the Lord wouldn't have it. And so she leaves again and tells her children that it was her hips that lingered the serpent to her ears, that Adam is not to blame for his own curiosity. She begged, the way that mothers take on the sins of their children, carry the shame on their shoulders until the tears reach their nostrils that they have to remind themselves that they can breathe on the water. And when they do, they are called witches. How dare you seduce the water with your beauty? Have we treat you like you aren't human? Enjoy you like the moon? Now we must watch you flourish above us like an eagle above the forest, reaping the rewards of life after you gave yourself to the serpent? Burn her at the stake. So I, a woman, hide in the garden, set myself free from the shackles of religion and get to know God for myself. God who is mother, father, daughter, son and friend. God who is mine and I am theirs and tells me of the truth about how the serpent was made of men and from secret love affairs and because of compassion. God leads a quiet life here in the garden, cackling with the butterflies. I become a butterfly. I become a tree and God often rests under my shadow, waters me in love and feeds me kindness. I am a flower raising my praises in silence when no one else will. And here, in perfect peace and fellowship, I am alive and free.